movers, welcome to day eight of the move series. Today we're going to be doing 100 reps of cardio and abs. It's designed specifically for beginners. However, it is an excellent workout for anybody looking to get toned and strong in their fitness journey. For this workout, you will need absolutely no equipment. This workout is going to be in a follow along format and I'm going to be putting a rep counter up there so that you can see how many reps we are doing for each exercise. However, if you feel like you want to go at your own pace, then feel free to screenshot the description down below of the entire workout. Some of the exercises that we're going to cover today are going to be side plank lifts, high plank rotations, and swing squats. This entire workout has been designed to elevate your heart rate and keep the intensity at a medium level. So make sure to have a water bottle right next to you in case you need to sip some water or take a little bit of a break. Now you know I like to keep the move series straightforward and fuss free. So now that everything's clear, it's time to get moving. The first exercise is the high plank rotations. We're going to perform this for 10 reps followed by a 20 second rest. Make sure that your core and glutes are engaged and you're rotating slowly and in a controlled fashion. Maintain a straight back. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drink my wine? 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 Wanna move my feet? The next exercise will be skaters, which we'll perform for 10 reps and then take a 20 second rest. Now in this exercise, you want to land softly on your bent leg and make sure that your chest is upright at all times. Use your arms to maintain the balance. The next exercise is reverse lunge with pulse. Now here we are going to perform it for 15 reps on one leg followed by 15 reps of on another leg and make sure that your front knee is over the ankle. Pulse low and controlled while keeping your chest upright. You can place your arms out in front of you for extra balance and engage the core for stability. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drink my wine? 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 Wanna move my feet?
start this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time i trip it's a free fall why don't you have Seal jacks. We are going to do 10 reps of this exercise followed by a 20 second rest. Land softly on the balls of your feet and sink the arm and leg movements. Engage your core for more stability and maintain an upright posture. The next exercise is leg lowers to bicycles and we're going to perform this for 10 total reps and then take a 20 second rest. Now you want to control the leg movements and ensure that the stability is coming from your core. In order to do this, you'll need to make sure that your lower back is flushed on the mat and there is no back arching. Side plank lips. We're going to perform this for 10 reps on the left side and then 10 reps on the right side and then take a 20 second rest. You can stack feet or stagger the feet for additional balance. Make sure that your hips are elevated and that they are not sinking to the mat. Engage your core and obliques and keep a neutral neck.
Next up, we have forward to back jogging. We are going to perform this for 10 total reps. One rep equals a forward jog in the front direction, including the back direction. Now, land softly on the balls of your feet and maintain a rhythmic movement by engaging your core. Go at a pace that is comfortable to you and pump arms in sync. Next up, we have high plank to knee reaches. Perform this exercise for 10 total reps and one rep equals to a rep on the left and the right side. You want to engage your core and glutes to allow your plank to be stable. Avoid swaying your hips side to side as you perform the knee reaches. Maintain the posture when reaching for the knees and make sure that your hips are hiking up when you're performing the reach. Finally, we have the swaying squat. We will perform this movement for 15 reps and one rep equals to a movement on the left side and the movement on the right side. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. And the goal here is to keep your squat as low as possible as you're going from the left to the right. Make sure that your chest is upright and that you're not leaning too forward while performing this exercise.
And that concludes day eight. Wow, that was a sweaty workout. I hope you learned the new form on some of the exercises and it was an enjoyable workout. I will be back again tomorrow with day nine of the move series where we are going to be targeting the chest, shoulders and the triceps in another 100 rep challenge. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you never miss a notification whenever I post a new workout in the move series. See you tomorrow, movers.